Hey everyone, we're gonna take some time today to go through a few of the online tools, features, and icons that you're gonna see in TestNav, which is the app that we use to take our SOL tests this year. We'll start over here. We have our previous and next arrows. This takes us forward and backwards in our test, and for today we're taking a look at a reading test, so we actually can move forward and backwards through questions, and so you'll see that the arrows are both there. In math, you're only going to see a forward arrow. In reading, you're also going to see a review and a bookmark button. So the bookmark says that you could bookmark this question if you weren't quite sure. If you want to come back to it, you can bookmark it within the passage and come back. Review means you want to go back and look over those that you bookmarked or just choose questions from this passage that you want to take a look at again. Two other buttons on your screen are the pointer, and the pointer is what you use to select your answer. And we also have the answer eliminator. So if your teachers have taught you how to slash the trash, or any other term they use for getting rid of those answers that you know are incorrect, then you could use this to get rid of anything that you know is incorrect on a question. That is the answer eliminator right here. To get out of answer eliminator mode, you could click on that tool again, and now you're back to using your pointer to actually select an answer. Another very useful tool that you don't see up here in the toolbar that you are definitely gonna wanna use in reading is a highlighter. So it looks like there isn't a tool, but really it's just built into your pointer. So if we were reading these directions where it says select the correct answers, that word answers, plural, is letting me know that there should be more than one answer. So if I only have one answer chosen, then I know I want to go in and choose a second answer, two or more, because my directions I just highlighted said answers. So I'm going to walk you through how to highlight. If you wanted to highlight an important word or phrase in a passage or question, you just click with your um, mouse, mouse pad, excuse me, you click and you drag over and then you let up from tapping and then you're going to get two options. You can either highlight in pink or in blue and then you have used your highlighter tool even though it's not up here on the toolbar. So we'll do that again. We're going to look for which two words are synonyms of suddenly in paragraph one. So I'm going to go try to find the word suddenly. Imagine you're in Africa. Suddenly. Click and drag to select it. Then I'm going to highlight it. And there we go. Now I can reference the word suddenly and help myself choose the best answer by using that highlighter tool. So another useful thing to use. Alright, as you keep going across that top bar, you see a user drop-down menu with a couple of tools we'll come back to later, and then your sign out of test nav button are all over here under your user drop-down menu. Your battery life is below that, so you'll see that right now I have 99% battery. If that ever gives you a notice letting you know that your computer is almost out of battery, you would want to let your teacher know so that it doesn't run out of power in the middle of a question. Over here you'll see the title of the test that you're taking, what section you're on, and what question you're taking out of how many total questions there are. And it also shows you a progress bar to show you how much of the test you have completed so far. So all useful information at the top of your screen. Another useful thing that you'll want to make sure that you're utilizing is this scroll bar so that your passage you can scroll through. You don't want to just stop there and think that's all there is to the passage because your passage will continue down further on many of these. Uh, another tool that you guys don't see but that you can use is being able to zoom in and out on a screen. So I know that sometimes your Chromebooks, everything shows up very tiny. So I'm going to show you how to zoom in and out on your screen and just make sure that you are using this as a tool and not to just zoom in and out when it's not necessary for you to do so. So I'm going to show you a picture of how to zoom in and out 
using the keyboard on your Chromebook. So you're going to use the control key and the plus key and that's going to allow you to zoom in or if you need to zoom out and make things smaller you would do control and minus and I'll show you what that looks like. So let's say that this is a little bit small for me on my Chromebook. I'm hitting the control plus. Notice I'm doing it one at a time. Control minus now and I can adjust that until I can see properly. You do want to make sure that you aren't zooming in too much because sometimes you're going to miss part of the question because it's going to be below where you're looking. So sometimes we zoom in so far that we don't know that there's additional information at the bottom of your screen. So just be wary as you zoom in and out on your Chromebook using the control plus key and the control minus keys at the same time. Once you've finished answering all the questions about a passage like we were reading earlier, you're going to see a screen that looks like this, just letting you know with caution that you can move forward now or you can review your questions. It's also letting you know that once you select this arrow up here at the top of your screen, you can't go back to that passage anymore. So when you see these screens, read them carefully and then use the forward or next button to go to the next passage if you're ready or the review button if you're not quite ready. So now we're going to use all that we just learned to jump in and take a reading practice test and you can try using some of these tools that we just talked about.